Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. It is officially summer in Japan. The rainy season is over. It's almost hard to believe that my last video I was still wearing long sleeves. But um, yeah, now we're finally full summer mode. Went to the beach yesterday and I'm super, super excited because it's my favorite time of year. Um, and it's also my favorite time of year because of the summer book sales in Tokyo. So um, I just did a French uh, language book haul and today I'm going to do an English language book haul. It's very, very small because the sale wasn't as good. It was it was mostly like mystery thriller books. So there was like, like a lot of Dean Koontz and books like that, which I don't personally read. Um, so smaller selection, but I still got a few things. Um, I started off getting The Man Who Japed by Philip K. Dick, who is a science fiction uh, author. I've read one other book by this author, which is Ubik. And I'm only like, I actually took this to the beach yesterday, so I'm only like 10 pages away from the end. Um, but it's just a man who has become, um, who has been promoted to head of the moral, uh, like telemedia society it's basically just like a, a marketing firm that produces um just like marketing for to uphold this moral society that's been created and but he has done something that kind of risks his position so that's what this is about and i'm enjoying it i do like ubik better um, i'm interested to see what the last 10 pages reveal um but yeah this will be in my um wrap up in any case for July so you, you'll be able to very very soon see my um, opinions on this but yeah very very happy to be exploring Philip K. Dick again because I do actually I really enjoyed Ubik and I would like to read many more of his books then I got a Mishima this actually was not on sale but it looked intriguing I haven't read Mishima, Mishima in a long time um, well I think the last book I read and actually that I didn't finish I put it down was his um, Sun and Steel uh, which is a autobiography like a semi autobiography about his own life and I wasn't really into that for me I think I, I appreciate Mishima's fiction but I don't really care for him as a personality um, so that book wasn't for me but i think this one is definitely up my alley so this is life for sale and i love this cover this will probably be my favorite cover of the year um and it's a 27 year old male who puts his life up for, for sale that's it and he's gonna come up with a lot of the underworld of japan and this is considered to be a satire and so i'm very very excited to see where this will take me um yeah another japan related book is a book that i should have read I should have already read this a long time ago because it's like almost pivotal reading for anybody who's studied Japanese language or Japanese literature or who has done any Japanese studies whatsoever. And that is The Gossamer Years, um, which is the diary of a noble woman of Heian, Japan. So this um, was written in time, the same time as Tale of Genji. Um, and it's basically just an autobiography about a woman. Um, and so sort of her interactions with rival wives and mistresses and really to get to look at a woman at that time period which obviously is very important because we don't have as many um records from back then i mean Muda, um tale genji by muda sakishikabu is like a huge um source of, of reference for the time period but there isn't as much in terms of women um, so I'm very excited about this. I, I, I just know I'm going to love this. I know I'm going to be fascinated. And I'm very happy to get to this because as I mentioned, I should have already read this by now. Um, but yeah, that's The Gossamer Years, The Diary of a Noble Woman of Heian, Japan. And it doesn't actually um, give who the writer was. So was it just gives you the translator who is um, Edward Seidensticker, which I, who is an, he's an excellent, excellent translator. Um, he often does the big, big books like Tale of Genji, things like that. Um, so yeah, it doesn't give the name of the person who wrote this, so perhaps it's unknown. So we'll see. Then I got another nonfiction. Um, this was unexpected. I had never heard of this, but, um, it's travel writing, which I absolutely adore. And that's A, w a Winter in Arabia by Freya Stark. And it's basically Freya Stark who writes about her travels in, um, what is now Yemen, um, but back then um, it was Hajamaut, so this is in 1934. So it was a very 
pioneering event to have her to her a woman to be traveling into this kind of country but also Yemen in general there wasn't um, that much known about the the country at the time um, from you know the, the, the foreigners uh, perspective um, so she writes about her travels and I'm very excited about this I think it's gonna be absolutely fascinating um, there's there's nothing better than a good good travel writing book I mean travel logs are <sighs> Like, it, it, it's interesting that people who enjoy fiction don't read more travelogues because it's really not that much different. You you get to explore this new land that you haven't been to. You get to explore the human emotions um, from your protagonist, uh, the author, and you get these interactions between people that can create conflict but, but can create... Um, uh, feelings of human bonding and just like the human interaction that you look for in fiction. So um, yeah, I've always interested that people don't read more travelogues because they're absolutely fantastic. You, you um, very often beautifully written, and they just have this this human quality that I just absolutely adore. So yeah, a winter in Arabia, super super excited about this. Um, and then as a bonus, so for the French. Um, the French language hall, I mentioned that I had bought um, Aki Shimazaki's Hozuki, which is a continuation of from Azami. So this is the second book to the L'Ombre du Chardon from uh, the series. And so because I immediately read this, I decided to get the third book, which is Suisen. Um, so this is a little bonus. This wasn't on sale or anything. I bought this at full price, um, but I wanted to have the third book ready to read. So yeah, that's it. Those are the books that I got from the um, last book sale slash just at the random book sale. So not, not that much, um, but super excited to read all of them. I think they're gonna be absolutely fa fantastic. So yeah, a short video today. Um, that's probably good because all my videos have been 30 minutes long lately. So um, I will just go ahead and say thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.